Hello everyone, this is Janice with Cricutology.blogspot.com and today I'm making a card for a friend who needs a little bit of encouragement. So um, I'm trying out, not trying out, I've made a card like this before but I haven't done one in a while. It's a 9 by 4 card and the way I made this, just zoom out a little bit here so you can see. Um, the way I made this was um, I cut a piece of 8.5 by 11 down to, let's see, 8 by 9 and then scored it at 4 inches. And this will fit in your regular office type envelope. Okay? And then I cut a piece of pattern paper. These pieces are all from my scraps. And I cut the pattern paper, um, let's see, three and seven eighths by three and seven eighths by eight and seven eighths. And that's gonna go right there. Before I put it down, I am gonna use a little bit of um, black soot distress ink. I just want to add a little bit of detail here to make it pop off of the white. You can also use a makeup applicator, makeup sponge. Oh, man, that was close. Okay. So that's going to go right there. Then I had this little piece here that I got from my scraps and I cut this at, let's see, three and three quarters by five and three quarters. And then I used my scalloped, scallop EK Success quarter punch and do the same treatment to this piece. I may not even need to re-ink it. Okay. I'm not sure where I'm going to put that. So then for my next layer, this is a, again, this, this is exactly how I found it in my <laughs> scraps. Let's see, it's three inches by three and seven eighths. And then I cut a piece of black um, about an eighth inch bigger than that. And that's gonna go right about there. I'm not sure if I wanna bring it up or set it more in the middle, which I think that's what I'm gonna do. I think this was a Stampin' Up! little 6x6, six six maybe, stack that I got free in one of my orders. Maybe. Oh, it's not really straight, but... Okay, let's do this right. There we go. This is going to get centered here. And this is what I'm going to try stamping on this pattern paper. I usually like to stamp like on a white, so I'm not sure. I'm taking a chance here. And then I cut from the preserves cartridge, I cut a two and a quarter lemon and I'm gonna probably set that there and I stamped it with one of the Peachy King Princess faces. 
I'm gonna, the sentiment is um, when life gives you lemons, make lemonade. And I ran it through the Swiss Dots embossing folder, but I ran it through the other way, so I have the deboss, because you know how lemons kind of have those little holes, those little dimples, I guess you would call them. And I'm going to use Versamark and Memento. And when you use, if you're not going to use embossing powder, you can just... Um, ink up your stamp with the Versamark and then put it in your ink and then you add the clear embossing fold embossing powder and that works too. And so that's going to go right there. I might just need to go get my embossing powder cuz I didn't actually get it. Okay. kind of stand out or the ink stand out a little bit more against this pattern. And then it says bend things up. Cute, huh? For some cheeks, some sweet cheeks. Is this pink? some little lips with or do her lipstick with this um, glaze pen so cute and I'm just gonna go ahead and add it right there and then for some fun a little trim to here. I should have trimmed it already. But I'm going to use a piece of score tape here. This tape is nice. You don't have to cut it with a scissor. Love that. And it's pretty. Um, heavy duty so you can actually use it on trim and things like that and I'm going to cut it right there and right here and that is my completed card thanks for watching everyone bye